Hey guys, this is Red and today I have a new command tutorial for you. So as you can see here, I'm stepping on a bridge which has these ropes holding it. And what I wanted to uh, show you is how to make them using command blocks, of course. It is a really, really simple command tutorial because it uses just these command blocks here and you can apply it to multiple scenarios. For example, here I use them to simulate these ropes that are holding the bridge but I have another example here in this cave so let's pretend that this is a cave and if we go inside it besides getting darker you can see that we have like a really real cobweb in the middle of the cave which is kind of stopping us and as you can see here I'm using the same ropes these ropes are actually some leads which you know you can use them to tie some mobs and carry them around and you can see that these leads, these ropes can go everywhere in the world, they can have any direction. But anyways, this is the mechanic that we are going to use. We are going to use some animals that are tied to some armor stands. And uh, if I go quickly in game mode 3, you can see that we have here some bats named rope that are tied to some invisible armor stands. Now I want to show you what are the command blocks used to create this and let's go straight to the tutorial. Okay, now I have removed all the ropes so I can reproduce this together with you guys and the first step you want to do is to copy this command block here, take it and place it somewhere in your world. Now since we have this really bad built bridge, but anyways we are not here for the aesthetics, place it where you want the rope to uh, be and then you have to click on this button and then on done. So what we did now, we have created an invisible armor stand. Don't worry about it not being in the same place of the command block because when we use the leads to tie them to the bats in this case, the rope will appear in place. So um, let's see what we have here in the command. We are summoning an invisible armor stand, of course with some relative coordinates. We named it cobweb just because of the cobweb that I have built in that cave. And um, we gave it a custom UUID. Now these UUIDs are something that uh, make some armor stands unique. It's, it's like an ID or a passport. We have to give a UUID list and a UUID most. Now what you have to do, you have to invent a number. It doesn't matter what number you use. You can use one and two, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all, but make sure that UUID list is different from UUID most. And make sure that you remember these numbers. But now I want to remember, um, but now what I want to remember is the numbers that I have used when summoning that armor stand. So I have used 11,273 and here 274, so 73 and 74. Perfect, now we don't need this command block anymore and we can place the block back. Now what you have to do, you go take the second command. Uh, of course you'll find all the commands that I have used in this video in the video description, there's a link. Go click it and you'll be forwarded to my webpage where you can find all the commands used in this video. So make sure to go and copy the second com command, paste it in a command block and activate it. Uh, this gave us a custom spawn egg that will spawn the invisible bats. But before spawning them, I want to show you what these two command blocks are going to do. Uh, this first command block is going to detect when someone summons this bat with this exact egg. And then relative to that bat, it summons another bat named Rope, which has an invisibility effect and also which is leashed colon one. This means that this bat is, is leashed. So here, um, instead of using, for example, leash at e name and then specify the name of the armor stand instead of the names we are using the uids so make sure that you copy to uuid list if you have used one make sure to write one if you have chosen two uh, make sure to write two but this time we want to keep the same numbers which were 73 and 74 perfect then the second and last command block is going to kill the um the bat that we summon using this spawn egg why are we doing this and using the spawn egg and not just going to summon some bats um, relative to the position of our body. Simply because in, we cannot paste uh, long commands in the chat, so I said let's use this method, so whenever we place the, uh, the bat, we are going to create a we are going to create another bat entity which has all of these tags inside, all of, all of the different UUIDs and stuff. And then this command block here is going to kill the, uh, the bat that we summon through this egg. So remember that we have we have summoned an armor stand here. What we want to do, we want the bat to be here. And now you see that nothing happens. You see that the rope didn't appear. This is because it is a problem with Minecraft. But to solve it, it's really simple. You, all you have to do, you have to relog into your world. 
and then you should be able to see the rope. If this doesn't happen just try again and it should appear at one point. Come on, please do it. Okay, yeah. As you can see here, now we have tied the um, the butt to that armor stand, which has a custom UUID. Now, what we want to do, we want to create another armor stand here, but this time we have to give it a different UUID, because uh, therefore the butt will be tied again to that armor stand. We don't want to do that. We want to tie another butt to another armor stand with a different UUID. So what you have to do, you have to go back here, and change the uh, UUIDs with another number. So we have used 11,273 and 274. Now let's use 275 and 276. We copy this again, place it somewhere here on the bridge, activate it and remove the command block. Now what we want to do, we have want to do the same with the bat. So make sure to change this with the UUIDs that you have used. So we have used 75 and 76. Boom, let's use the spawn egg and come on we have summon another but let's relog again and see if everything works fine yeah and as you can see here we have both of the ropes so i'm gonna quickly add the other two ones Okay, let's relog and everything should be fine. So yeah, as you can see, I have used different UUIDs for all for the arm stands and all for the bats that I have summoned. But here the final product is something outstanding. You can easily make it, it doesn't involve that many command blocks. And then uh, the cool thing about it is that you don't need to have any other command blocks because the rope will stay here forever. So anyways, <laughs> let, let, me, let me show you how I did the cobweb. So again, I have created another armor stand having a different UUID. ID, so uh, I will use 81 here and uh, 82 here. Then copy it again, going back. Um, and then let me go back inside the cave. Let's make this the center activated. And then what we want to do, we want to summon some more ropes. How do we do that? Again, we have to change the UUIDs. So let's use the same UUIDs that we used. Um, this is 81 and this is 82 and what we have to do now we have uh, instead of summoning just one bat We have to summon multiple bats of course in different directions. So let's summon one in here. Let's place one here Okay, so after you're happy with the bats, all you have to do again, relog into your world and the ropes should appear. So as you can see, I have created a really weird cobweb and another feature that you guys can add, you can use this command block here, it will be the last on my webpage and you, you need to have this act always activated. So if you want to remove everything, make sure that this is set on repeat and always active so you have it activated at any time. So what it does, it simply gives us a slowness effect uh, whenever we get close to that to that armor stand it is a really simple command and as you can see here when i get through the cobweb i am slower i get a slowness effect okay guys so that was it about this command tutorial i hope that you guys liked it it is a really simple one you can easily create it into your world if you're on a server or on a realm and you have operator rights you can do it and show it to your friends you can make some you can use it of course not only for bridges and cobwebs i'm pretty sure that you guys can come up with really cool ideas and if you guys have different ideas show them to me on my twitter if you're not following me on twitter you should do it right now you'll find the link in the video description or here on the screen and uh, yeah make sure to tweet them to me and i'll be really happy to see how you guys can uh, use this method to, uh, I don't know, to decorate your world and apply it to other builds. So I hope that you guys liked this video, if you did so please leave a like under it and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you all guys this Saturday with a new one comment creation and until then, stay awesome, see you, bye.